Okay, first one is done for you. Mark joue au basket. Uh, sorry, Mark joue au rugby. The correct one is Mark joue au basket. Claire et Thomas joue au badminton. Yes, Claire et Claire et Thomas. Uh, yeah. Claire et Thomas joue au volley, right? Not badminton. It should be joue au volley, right? Ibrahim joue au football. It should be corrected as Ibrahim joue au hockey. Pole Yannick joue au hockey. Yes, Paul et Yannick. Uh, it should be Paul et Yannick joue au football. Simon joue au golf. It should be corrected as Simon joue au tennis. Sophie joue au tennis. Uh, you have to say Sophie joue au golf. Then Daniel et Luc joue au volley. Daniel et Luc joue au tennis de table. J uh, Daniel, uh, sorry. Um, Jonathan et Nicolas. Joue au tennis de table. It should be corrected as Jonathan and Nicola joue au badminton. Any questions uh, there? No, right? Right. Here you have a small dialogue. Let's check it. Qu'est-ce que? Qu'est-ce que? Qu'est-ce que means what? Qu'est-ce que tu fais aujourd'hui? What you do today? Qu'est-ce que tu fais aujourd'hui? What you do today? Je joue au tennis. I play tennis. Et toi? And you? No, moi, je joue au basket. No, me, I play basketball. Right. Now, uh, this is about ER verbs. I think we got the VDT ER verbs, isn't it? You know how to conjugate aime, parle, jouer. You know or you don't know. Hello? Yes? Can you repeat? I didn't hear you properly. I remember, miss. You remember. What's about the others? I'll explain it from here. Je, so ending with T. Yes. Il est long ending with T. So no ending with O and S. Who ending with T Z. Il est plural ending with T and T. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'll give you a worksheet to check whether you can remember it. Okay. Mm. Only yard one, right? Just a second. Let's see what are the specialties. Joue, the verb joue is an ER verb and it uh, ER verbs means those given the infinitive form of the verbs are ending with ER. Here, when you check the ER, you see it's ending with ER. It's a regular, we consider it as a regular verbs because all the verbs ending with ER has same type of conjugation. Let's see, you have been using different parts of the verb jouer. The infinitive joue ends in er and follow this pattern. So the ending with er one is the infinitive verb. It means the base verb. The first part of the verb ju is the stem. We call this part stem. The part that changes the ending 
the highlighted parts in the verb table. Here you see the highlighted, the highlighted parts are changing. Each subject pronoun means shirt you will live. Subject pronouns are je, tu, il, el, on, nu, vu, il plural and el plural. Each subject pronoun uh, has a matching ending. So uh, it is like this. If it end in with the je, ending it's e. Tu, es. Il, e. L, e. On, e. Nu, o, n, s. Vu, e, z. Il plural, e, n, t, and il plural, e, n, t. Okay. So most endings on er verbs sound the same or are silent, but they may not be spelled the same. Pronunciations are different. I'll uh, pronounce it this one. Je joue, tu joue, although tu has e at, s at the end, you not uh, pronounce it as joues, it joue. So je joue, tu joue, il joue, elle joue, on joue. Nous jouons, vous jouez, il, elle joue, il joue, elle joue. Okay. Uh, most uh, ending, okay, we did only the new and who ending sounds different. In the ER group, only new and who sounds are getting different. Other, all the others are same. There is only one present tense in French. It is used to translate, I play or I am playing, and I do play. It's like this. So, see, uh, so in the English language, in the present tense, you have simple present tense and present continuous tense. So there's no two things in French. You can uh, take it as simple present tense and present continuous tense. That is why they say uh, this, uh, this has the meaning. I play and I am playing. You play, you are playing. You understand the, that part? Is the station. Clear? Yes. Okay, now let's come to question number three. Je suis le bon mot. Okay, you have six questions. This is something similar to the activity sheet we did. You need to underline the correct verb. First one, uh, it's je joue. Okay, likewise in the other sentences also underline the correct word. Tu joues, ma fille joue, nous jouons, vous jouez, il elle joue. Okay, let's check on the meanings. Je joue au hockey, I play hockey. Tu joues beaucoup, you play a lot. Beaucoup means a lot. Ma fille joue dans sa chambre. My, my daughter plays in the room. Nous jouons avec Pierre, maman. We play with Pierre, mother. Vous jouez au badminton. You play badminton. Ils jouent dans le jardin. They play in the garden. Okay. Now you have to uh, come to question number four. So it's on the sports. Complete les phrases. Complete the sentences. So uh, for the first one, you have uh, the volleyball thing. So you have to say au oh, volley. So always when you are uh, taking the thing, uh, observe on the this one now, uh, the word before the game, o, o, that should be written, right? Here it says, je joue au volley. And then, no, mais nous, uh, Okay, qu'est-ce que vous uh, jouez? So you have to write the entire part. Uh, mais, no, mais nous. Nous jouons. Jouons au basket. 
You understood? Maybe uh, if you don't have enough space here, where you can write it in your writing book. I, th I feel like uh, you don't have enough space there. Can you do that? You understood what to do. Yes, we are supposed to write the name of the sport. Sport and you have to conjugate the verb jouer as well. Okay. Right. <clears throat> Go ahead. Correct your answers. Check your answers. Right. So our next one, next question. A Chris is fast, yours is porto, you different. Yeah. Uh, no, that one no needed. Uh, Right. You need to write down a Korean paragraph, Seudless Porte Leisure. You need to write down a small paragraph on sports or games. Sapa Etridala Pardun personality celebrity. It can be a celebrity as well. If you if you play a game, you can write it. Here let's see the example. If not, you can take a celebrity. Just we you are the put professional. I'm a professional football player. The sport is très important pour moi. The sport is very important for me. Je joue très souvent. So you have to put the game here. I often play. What are the games? Mes amis, my friends play this game. You, have, you can feel it. Quelques fois on joue, mais on général, but in general. So those are the Linking words, uh, you have you have to write down the paragraph. Quand il pleut, when it when it is raining, je joue what? You have to feel. On est en summer, nous jouons this. Can you write down a paragraph? Do it in your writing book. Okay. Take the same thing, uh, but you need to fill in the blanks. It's a, it is not with the one word. You have to write fill with the sentence. Okay. Sometimes you can put uh, one word, and for sometimes you need to write down a sentence. When you're writing, if there's a question, ask me, okay? Start doing it in your writing book. Yeah. Yon bon dessiné. Bon dessiné. Comic stripe. It's like a cartoon book with comic stories. Bon dessiné. Let's see this. Jo -jo, okay, all the all of you are in the book, right? It's in page number sixty-eight. Bon dessiné, comic stripe, comic book. Jojo etion sorry. Jojo is a mouse. El Jojo et Suri, Jojo is a mouse. El Ponza Kelka shows. He, she, she thinks on, a, on something. Kelka shows something. Say le fromage. Tell me what is fromage? What is fromage? Cheese. Cheese, yeah. Tom Metan, okay. Uh, the people keep your mics open, like when I'm asking the question, answer. If you switch off the mic, it like uh, everybody uh, open your mics. You all want me to answer, okay? Tom Metan Shah. What does that mean? Tom Metan Shah is Tom is a, Tom is a cat. Yes. Il Ponza Kelka shows. He thinks on something. Jojo, that is Jojo. Okay, the mouse is thinking on cheese. 
The cat is thinking on mouse. Let's see. Voila le fromage. Voila Jojo. Here you have what? Keys and here Jojo. Okay. Jojo wants le fromage. What does that mean? Jojo wants le fromage. Is there someone who's traveling? If there's someone who's traveling, uh, that person can uh, switch off your mic. Okay, Clara, I switched off your mic. The sound is coming from you. Okay, that's it. Jojo mange le fromage. What does that mean, Jojo mange le fromage? Jojo eats the cheese. Jojo eats the cheese. Voila, Tom. There, Tom. Tom entre dans la cuisine. What does that mean? Tom entre dans la cuisine. Tom. Tom enters the kitchen. kitchen. Tom enters to the kitchen. Into the kitchen. Tom chasse Jojo. Chasses uh, chase. Tom chases Jojo. Est-ce qu'il mange Jojo? What does that mean? Does he eat Jojo? Jojo entre, entre dans le salon. What does that mean? Jojo entre what dans le mean? salon. Jojo enter the living room. Jojo enter the living room. Tom saute sur Jojo. Saute is to jump. Tom jumps on Jojo. He attrapes Jojo. He catches Jojo. I know. He attrapes Jojo. He doesn't catch Jojo. Tom chasse Jojo dans la salle de bain. What does that mean? Tom chases Jojo um, into the washroom. Washroom. Into the bathroom. Correct. He sort. He jumps. No, il n'attrape pas Jojo dans la salle de bain. What does that mean? He doesn't catch Jojo. He didn't. He doesn't catch Jojo in the bathroom. Jojo runs dans la cuisine. Jojo returned to the kitchen. Jojo and re enter to the kitchen. Voila le fromage. There the cheese. Me, voila Tom, there Tom. Et voila bouge, bougerie. Okay, there's someone else is coming. Okay, another one is coming. Bush name pa Tom. Bush doesn't like Tom. Il chasse Tom. He chases Tom. It can be a dog, right? A Jojo mange le fromage. Finally, Jojo eats what? The cheese. Okay. Now here you have a question. You need to mark true or false. You have 10 sentences here. Read it and mark Reu for true or false. You got it? Okay, go ahead. Yes, station. Yeah. Okay, Jojo aim from us. Reu four. I want the answers from you. Re. Re. El trou du fromage dans le jardin. Four. Four. Jojo commence à manger le fromage. Re. Re. Tom le chat Ray. arrive. Tom le chat Ray. arrive. Re. Re. La souris chasse le chat dans le salon. Four, four. four right? Four. Because it is not the mouse chases the cat, but the chase, uh, cat chases the uh, mouse, right? This is here given in the like other way around. So it should be four. Tom saute sur Jojo, mais il n'attrape pas Jojo. Oui. Jojo entre dans la salle à manger, Tom aussi. Oui. Uh, oh. Ray, right? Ray, teacher. 
yeah, because the entree, this one, this this thing, it should be vrai. Jojo rentre dans la cuisine, mais le chat est ah, wait, wait, wait. This is not salle à manger, it's a cuisine. So this should be four. Yeah, yeah. Number six should be, uh, sorry, uh, seven should be four and eight should be vrai, right? Yes. Right. Bush le chien entre dans la cuisine. Vrai. Vrai. Les trois animaux mangent le fromage. Oui. Four. 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 Number 10, four. Four. Okay. Now what you're supposed to do is, so let's keep the answers. Um, this is Ray. This is four. Um, Ray. Three, four, three, this is a four, right? Four, three, three, four. Okay, here there are one, two, three, four. Four false tense sentences. Okay, first one is done for you. Number two, elle trouve du fromage dans le jardin. No, you, they have corrected it. Elle trouve du fromage dans la cuisine. They have corrected it. I want you to correct number five, number seven, and number 10. Can you do it now? Okay, okay go ahead. Five, seven, and 10. Okay. Number five. It should be le cha chas la suri dans le salon. Right. And again, uh, number seven. We can say, take uh, what you uh, have you corrected this one, Jojo Entre. So the bench. La salle the, sal the band, right? Yes, I wrote Jojo uh, on the cousin. Yeah, because you can take those also because he they are entering all these places, right? Okay. okay. Yeah. Number 10 should be la, not all three animals, only Jojo did, right? That is a Suri. La Suri. Or you can take Jojo also. Monge le fromage. Miss, I also mentioned that uh, the dog chased the cat. Is that okay? It means uh, for number 10. Miss, I wrote uh, both. For which one? For one. which one you did it? Uh, tenth one. No, no need, right? Because you want only the uh, manger de fromage part. No? La souris mange le fromage. Okay. Yeah, it's there. Thank you. Right. So I'll quickly explain because you have already done this. I'll quickly explain the, uh, this uh, part before ending the class. So we already we have learned ER verbs. We call them present tense regular verbs. Many verbs have an infinitive ending in ER. All the uh, like, in, in, it's, it has an infinitive it's in the ER group. It exists only ER endings. You normally have to change the infinitive before you use it. So what you have to do is you need to remove ER, right? Before using it uh, as a verb. 
another with the with the pronoun. This term. Earlier also we talk about this term. If you take off the er, if you remove er, you are left with this term. The remaining part you call it term. So with the if you take verb aime, if you remove er, you have only aim remaining. That is the term. This appears in all parts of the verb. Like that part doesn't change when you are like conjugating. The endings. Let's talk about endings. French verbs have different endings according to the person or subject of the verb. If it is like in English, it doesn't change much, right? So, I, we, you, they, you have the same verb. He, she, it, you are adding S. That's the only change there. But in French, it changes everywhere. With je, you put e at the end. With you, you put es. Il along, you put e. No o n s. Bu e z. And il plural, that's e n t. Many verbs are regular e r verbs. In the French language, most of the verbs are e r verbs. Here are two examples. And you see what they have done. They have removed the e r for the remaining part. You have, they have taken it for je, they have put e. Tu, yes. Can you see that? For aime also the same. You are adding the endings to this term. If the verb begins with a vowel, uh, if the verb is starting with the vowel, it means a, e, i, o, u, o, h. Use, you already know that je is becoming like this, right? You already know it. How many regular ER verbs can you think of? Like there are plenty. There are a lot of ER verbs. Most of the verbs are in the ER group. Okay, so do you have any questions on ER group? Present tense, uh, anything you didn't get? No? No. No. So you have to by heart the endings. Okay, uh, right. Okay, then that's all for today. We are going to do this activity in our next class. Uh, any, any questions from the work that we already done today? Nothing, right? All clear? Okay. Okay, good. then that's all for today. Au revoir, Bianto. Or Vabian to the Vabian to.